Before we get to the November spreads, I wanted to do a flip through of my October spreads real quick. I really love this quote and cover page. I think it turned out so cute. Moving on, here's the overview of the calendar. Not completely filled out yet because I'm filming this today and October isn't quite over yet. I just write like a big event of each day. And then for the habit tracker, we have this fun little spider web. I really like the colors that I chose for this. We've got some blank stuff here, but overall pretty okay for the month. The moods were all over the place. I love the like tons of colors that it has though. I think it's really cool. And it just looks like a bunch of fun little Halloween candy. And then we have the sleep tracker and the water tracker. These two were definitely my favorite two spreads of all of them. They were like easier to color in and everything, took less time, and I just really like the colors and just like the way that they all look and turned out. And if you're watching this in like future years from now, these spreads are still up on my Etsy shop and I have like a blank version so you can use it for any year, not just 2021. But anyway, let's get on with my November spreads. Those are on my Etsy shop as well already. But without further ado, let's switch over to voiceover carry. Alrighty, you guys already know the drill. Happy November, or at least the November setup if you're watching this when I first upload it. So if you couldn't tell, the theme for the month is coffee, and we are starting off with the quote page and the cover page. So the quote that I chose is, my coffee is strong, but so am I. I just thought that it was a fun little coffee-related quote, and I drew a bunch of little coffee beans around it. I think that's what coffee beans look like. I honestly am not 100% sure. But for the cover page, I thought it would be fun to do a little like cafe scenery looking thing. I got this idea off of Pinterest, um, but I changed the colors to kind of fit more of a fall-like vibe, which you will see towards the end of the video when I color everything in. I started off by just doing all of the outlines first with everything, and then I went back and colored it. So there's just like a bunch of little doodles and things. There's like you know the little bar stools and a bunch of like little coffee cups coffee mugs and things all around it as well as some plants and stuff just super cute so for the calendar it of course is november 2021 up at the top in like the little like bouncy font that i carried out throughout all of the spreads um for the calendar itself it's the same layout as my october calendar and my august calendar where i just have like boxes and then I add different colors around it so I used um, instead of like an ombre calendar like I did for the August and October ones it's kind of like not in a specific pattern it's kind of like randomized colors but you'll see that like again towards the end of the video when I go and color everything in but it was just super easy to set up because you just do like those like spaced out boxes and everything and then write the days of the week um, for the habit tracker and the mood tracker uh, the habit tracker is a little bit like different than what I normally do. Normally I have like like calendar boxes where they are like the weekly layouts if that makes sense. Whereas these habits, is, they're just like one big strip so they're in two rows. And then it's the same drill, you just color in the box each day that you do it. But it just doesn't have like the same like seven day like row. It's instead like ten days and then like the 11 through 30 in the second row and I just thought I'd try something different this month and I actually kind of like the layout overall. Uh, the mood tracker on the right side you can see is kind of like this circular little tracker with a little coffee or teacup in the middle which is really cute. We'll go back and color that in a bit. And then moving on to the sleep tracker and the water tracker. So the sleep tracker is a bunch of little coffee beans, same ones from the quote page. Um, and there's just 30 of them and you'll color in them with whatever colors you choose. I end up doing like different shades of brown because they're coffee beans. And then the water tracker are, it's like similar to my October sleep tracker of like the little potions and things. But this instead is of course like coffee cups and like mugs, whatever to kind of fit that coffee theme. So this was pretty easy just you know you just draw a bunch of coffee cups over and over again but then the inside um like coffee the drink i made them all kind of like different levels of coffee to just kind of make it a little interesting um and i got that off of pinterest as well so here you can see me coloring everything in i used different shades of brown for the coffee beans um it's kind of hard to see it show like the difference of the browns on camera and then for the quote, I kind of like felt like the page was lacking a little bit. So I decided to kind of use my themed colors of the month and outline the little like 
the words and give it like a little shadow. Um, again, kind of hard to see the colors on camera, um, especially because they're not like the vibrant colors that I typically do, but you can still just like kind of get the idea of what they are. And I actually think it's really pretty. Again, it's like very different from what I typically do, but I'm honestly kind of like proud of myself for trying something more out of like my comfort zone. And I think it turned out really cool. Um, and then you can see me doing the like cover page colors and stuff. Honestly, this was definitely by far my favorite part of the November spreads because I've said it before in other months, but it seriously is just like a coloring book. It's so, so fun to just like get to choose whatever colors I wanted. And I honestly didn't like plan it out at all. I just kind of like chose whatever colors felt right. Um, and if you end up getting like the no color copy of these on my Etsy shop, please, please, please send me a picture of like the way you color in your November cover page or even just all of your spreads in general. I just think it would be so cool to like share it all and see like the different ways to color in the whole scenery. And I really love how it turned out. It's just so cute. I love it. So here you can see with the November calendar that I am just doing like a completely random color pattern. I'm using those same colors that I used. It's kind of like a lot of browns, some like olive greens and some like darker like dandelion yellows. And I just like added shadows to all the boxes. And then for the habit tracker, this was super simple. I just added like a little shadow and then I colored in like the area where you would write each of your habits colored in the coffee cup, the different like colors for my moods, and then I shadow up the box. For the sleep tracker and water tracker, I added my colors as well, and then I added little shadows for that box. And then I went ahead and colored in the shelves of the water tracker that the coffee mugs were sitting on. And so here is the finalized November spreads. I honestly really, really like how they turned out. Like they are just so different than from what I'm used to and it's kind of really refreshing to see that and it just makes me feel so cozy for fall. So if you like them, go ahead and check them out on my Etsy shop, they're already up there. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and stay tuned for December. I can't believe we're literally almost done with 2021. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye you guys.